um, hot water fluctuating coming out hot and cold. This boiler is a Vitadens 100. And normally, the problem is the heat plate. The heat plate's dirty. So, what we're gonna do is isolate the boiler from the isolation points underneath. The flow, the return, the cold going in. Uh, and the gas. And then we're gonna drain down the boiler itself. Right, so now we've isolated the boiler flow return and hot water, the cold going in. And we drain the boiler down. We're gonna be taking out the heat exchanger at the back. This screw here and this screw here. And we're gonna use the appropriate size Allen key. What I'm gonna do is take your Allen key, put it on, put your spanner on the end and then twist it and then that, that's all it takes, that's loose. Now I can remove that by hand. Again, take the Allen key, straighten the hole. Make sure you use the right size Allen key so you don't thread it, crack that. Okay, now it's always good to have your hoover on hand because as we all do this, we're liable to get a bit of water come out. So Come with a hoover. Not yet. Not until I've put in on this and it's gonna be quite a bit of water coming out. Like that. This one done for you. Now put this take the pump out you can maneuver it out the way that you've taken it out so it's come out that way so it's going to go back in this way and you know because all the dust is at the top and all the writings at the top and it says top <laughs> so that one that's what way it's going to go in and then if you come if you zoom in here yeah you can see look already look on my finger that the black stuff in there Look to the hot water side, it's clean. Look in there, it's black. You can even see the scales in there. It's really dirty, so stop that. Zoom right in. So we're gonna use our spirit of salts. And then make sure you're well ventilated. Back doors open, front doors open. And I'm gonna pour this in the dirty side. Breathing in here the smoke in. Put it in the other side. Yeah, so what I like to do, use a screwdriver blunt end and tap it. And this will just release basically any of the black the I'm just going to do that. Okay. Yeah, look, look in the sink. Look. This is the stuff you're cleaning out. Crunchy, hard. There. Then run the water through it. I like to run it through one end so it comes out the other. Look in the sink. Go a bit closer. Got all the bits, all the black bits. That's what we're doing. We're cleaning them out. That's that. I'm gonna put a bit more spirit of salts in there. Yeah, 
good attachment. Put one of them on there. Plug that in there. Turn that on. Blast it through. Also, blast it through that end. And then, a bit of wood. Give it a tap. Tightening this back. There are Allen keys with handles at the end, like keys at the end, mm. but sometimes they're just not long enough. So I find it's just better for me just to use the tools I've got. It's all the same thing. Tighten them fully. Don't go crazy with them. Just Get them nice and tight at the front. They wasn't crazy tight. Yeah, a little crink, 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 and then one side. One more time. There's loads of things, obviously, like it's, it's easy watching videos like this, but there's sensors back there that can easily break when you take the thing out. You could take the expansion vessel to make it a bit easier. Like, there's so many other things to do. But as I say, this is more just to give the customer and apprentices a better idea of what's kind of required without going into like, you know, deep, deep detail. So, all right, let's do that. So we've changed the washer, seen as we drain down. And we've cleaned the heat plate. Um, and the water is running hot at all outlets consistently. So we readjusted the pressure of the boiler. This working pressure is about 1.4, 1.5. Now put it back together. Job done.